Hi team, and welcome to another awesome full body workout. Today's session takes 15 minutes. We start off with a warm up, then we have 12 exercises. The first six are done standing, and then the following six are done on floor level. So make sure you have a mat. Today we have no repeats. We only do one round of each exercise, which makes this workout a little bit lighter. But however, it's quick and it will for sure make you sweat. Choose this workout if you're feeling busy and tired, but you want to give your full body a nice workout. Let's have some fun. Let's warm up those muscles and open up those joints. Come on, arm circles. So good to see you here. So today's workout, no equipment needed other than the mat. We do body weight only exercises. It's going to be quick and sweaty without being too overwhelming. Other direction. So even if you're feeling a bit tired, stiff, not 100, you can totally do this with me. Because believe me, almost every day I'm not feeling 100. <laughs> I'm more or less stiff and tired. Come on. So, I understand how you're feeling, you know. It's my reality every day. <laughs> Always a bit tired, but that's okay. These workouts really light me up. And seeing you here with me is the best thing. So keep showing up. Let's do some regular squats. So for the whole month of January, we have these no equipment workouts. And why? Because I want you to be able to join me for the sessions wherever you are. And I don't want you to have any excuses to skip the workouts. For example, if you don't have a certain piece of equipment that's okay we don't need any so I really want to see you in every session in January and of course throughout the whole year okay hip circles getting our body and our mind warmed up I don't know if you can warm up your mind but you know we get our mindset right for the workout anyways Okay, and finger pumps, because in our second half of the workout, we are going to be on the mat, also doing some variations of plank. So we have to warm up those wrists. Okay, and wrist circles, or however you call these. Okay, let's do knee lifts and lift your arms all the way up in between. Let's get that heart rate up. Come on. Three, two, one, and windmill. Touch the opposite toes. Awesome. A few more. All right. Take your arms and legs. Let's get ready for our first exercise. Start off with the right leg. We do a side squat and a leg lift. 45 seconds, let's, let's go. Side squat and same leg, leg lift. Side squat, leg lift. For the leg lift, you can hold on to your own thigh. Keep the stable leg also slightly bent the whole time. Don't lock this knee here. Come on, only the right side first. Keep going. And last one. Awesome. 15 second transition. We do the same exercise to the left. So these standing ex exercises will target mostly our lower body. Okay, let's go. Side squat and leg lift. Then the floor exercises will target our core and upper body more. Come 
come on. Keep your core nice and controlled in every single exercise today. Working on those glutes, working on those thighs. Come on. And last one. Awesome. Shake your legs. Next, we start off with the right leg. You do a reverse lunge and then you extend your leg. Reverse lunge and extend your leg. You kind of lift your leg straight up. But don't arch your back. You use your glute muscles here, not your back. Okay? You have to really focus on this one to do it correctly. It's not a very big leg lift. It's a small one. The most important thing is to really squeeze with your glute when you lift that leg up. One more time. All right. We do the same exercise with the left leg. In just a moment. Okay, let's go. Reverse lunge and leg lift. Reverse lunge, you don't come all the way up, you stay here and you kick. Again, you squeeze with your glute here. You don't arch your back. Your core is nice and tight. Keep going, you're doing so good. And one more time. Awesome, shake your legs. Two more moves to go standing. Then we have a quick water break and we go on the mat. Next, we go into a sumo squat hold and we do heel raises. Okay, here. You lift both heels up. If this is a bit too difficult, balance-wise, you can go one heel at a time like this. But if this feels easy, lift both heels up at the same time. Come on. Stay low. I know you're tempted to go a bit more up, but don't do it. Open your chest, shoulders are down and back. And last one. Awesome, shake your legs. Last exercise standing. Cross your fingers behind your neck. We do a regular squat and elbow to knee. What? Elbow to knee. Come on. Keep going. Give me a few more. And last one. Awesome. Grab some water and then go on the mat.
we start with some kneeling push-ups. So you go into a push-up position with your knees on the mat. And from here, let's go. Do a push-up, you straighten yourself. Take your time here. Your elbows are pointing kind of backwards, not too much to the sides. Your core is nice and tight. Your head is aligned with your spine. And one more. Awesome. Next, we do some supermans. We go on all fours. We alternate sides. So first, right arm, left leg. You lift them up, hold, and switch. Left arm, right leg, hold, and switch. Hold it for a second here, and switch. Keep going, but don't let your head drop. Keep it in a straight line with your spine. And one more. Awesome. Shake your arms. Next we do downward dog push-ups. It's going to be a bit heavy, but you can slow down the pace if you need to. That's okay. So hips up. And from here, you push yourself up. Go down and push yourself up. Try your best. You can have your own breaks if you need to. Great work, keep going. Keep going. Come on. And one more time. Awesome. Now let's go lie on our back. And now our next move is heel taps. You lift your both legs up and from here you tap with your heel. You keep your tummy flat on the mat. Make sure your back is not arching. You tap with your heel. Yes. Come on. Slow and controlled. Okay. Next we do glute bridges. So you put your feet on the mat. Lift your hands up and you lift your hips up. You bring your arms down. Okay, and up. Squeeze with your glutes. Up. Yes. Keep going. Squeeze with your glutes. And squeeze. Yes. Come on. And 
and one more time. Awesome. Our last exercise is inchworm. So we start from the side of the mat. Knees are slightly bent. We walk with our hands. The plank and then come back. Okay, again. You can bend your knees even more depending on how stiff your hamstrings are. Keep going. Come on. And last one. We are done. Thank you so much for joining me for this full body workout. You did awesome work. Also give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this and proceed to this stretching session here. I'll see you there. Thank you. Bye bye.